Okay. March 18th, 2018. It's going to be our first ride of the summer. First ride of 2018. I'm on my Suzuki C50 and he's on his V Star 1300. Or 1100. Yours is 1100, huh? 11. <laughs> smell something. You smell something burning? Something's burning garbage over there. Okay. I didn't notice it until I put my helmet on and I thought, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even started the bike and I'm smoking. <laughs> First start of the year. had to crank a while too when he first come up I was down his place he got a GoPro today we went and got him a GoPro he's gonna put it on his helmet and we're talking in June maybe going on a long trip down to Kentucky from Western Pennsylvania he wanted to take a ride uh, his seat he wants to get a better one make sure my things record and I think it is Yeah, it's recording. I didn't want to have to take my helmet off. And I told him he was going to buy a new seat. I said there's a place out the road. Uh, I know about where it's at. It used to be upholstering. And I said, let's take a ride out there and see if they could put his seat, put a new cover on it, but make it bigger, add some uh, different foam underneath and around the sides because it's uh, cutting off the circulation right on the inside of his legs and he was looking at a Mustang seat found one for touring it's 17 inches across measured his it's 17 and I said you know I don't know I said let's go out there and just see if that place is still there That was quite a while back, I, I noticed it. I said, we'll take a ride. Today it's about 53, 54 degrees out. Nice, sun's out. Oh man, you put all this equipment on. I got these pants that I wear and this good jacket and my Harley gloves. You put that stuff on, <laughs> you, you wanna hurry up and get going because it gets hot standing there in the sun. He wanted to go for a ride. I said, man, I don't want to get my bike dirty. I got it so clean. I cleaned it all winter. <laughs> I said, nah, we got to go. Beautiful day for a ride. We're talking about going to Kentucky where they have that life-size ark, Noah's ark, they built. And you go in it, get a tour, you can walk through it, I guess. It has a lot of uh, screens and tells you about it. But it's the size that the original one's supposed to be, and that thing is huge. Oh, I got plenty of gas. There he goes. <laughs> Off to the races. And, uh... I told him about it and I sent him a, the site to it and that thing, you see people standing near it. Oh my god, is that thing huge. So he's all pumped up, he wants to go this summer. And he said maybe June. And I said yeah, we can do that, we're going to drive down there, it's uh, 500 and some miles. And then what we'll do is stay the night and then the next morning go and see the ark have all day there then 
when we leave just drive straight home I'm thinking seven eight hours because we'll stop maybe going but he said about you know he wants to get maybe a set of bags on that to carry stuff he's just got it tied on the back and uh, what else all the seat and I told him he ought to get a windshield because that air pounding you all them hours you know even if you get a small shield it deflects the air up over your head and you don't have all that buffeting once he gets one he'll see there's a big difference we had done such work on that bike <laughs> been through a lot I had it on YouTube about it. Oh man, starter clutch, uh, new charging system, new battery, brake fluid changed, just bad new back tire. Before we go on that trip, he's got to put his new front tire on. And it's working great, running smooth, nice. He, he's in love with it. He started telling me today, he said about a new, you know, about a bike he's looking at brand new one this and that and I told him the best advice I can give you is go and see a dealer if you're really interested see if you can get a demo ride on one you know it don't have to be exact same year but one like you're thinking about you know and then he thought about it he goes no he goes I like his bike you know it's running great he likes it and uh, the other one might have been a lot more power and I told him you know for the way we ride that's why I like the C50. It's so easy on gas. I want something easy on gas. I don't want to go out and spend, you know, a ton of money on gas and I'm not taking advantage of the motor. I mean, the C50 is great. I want, you know, I want to go faster and use a little more gas and just take my Harley out. <laughs> He's all happy. <laughs> it's like giving a monkey a tire swing. <laughs> <laughs> Old Bobo's happy. <laughs> He'll watch us on YouTube. <laughs> Start laughing. <laughs> but that'd be not that'd be great me and him go on a two day trip. Then later on maybe I'd like to go back out to uh, Dayton, Ohio, Air Force Museum. I was out there, the wife and I went one time on the bike. We had the Harley in the sidecar, we went out there. I seen a few bikes out today, uh, and then what, four or five days ago, this is Sunday, I was out and it was cold, and there was a couple bikes out. always kids me he said I like them pipes maybe get a little louder ones I said no I said put the originals on get a set of originals I said man your bike's too loud it is when you really gun it but other than that it ain't bad but I don't tell him that <laughs> I wait till he says something I go what I can't hear you for them pipes <laughs> He looks like a he looks like some kind of crazy aviator. Hey, that ain't his uh, leather jacket. Wonder what's going on. He got a Harley jacket, brown, beautiful. He ain't got it on today. I'm like, what the heck? I'm gonna have to ask him. As soon as he got his bike, I told him get them pants. Cause days like today, you know, it's just about 54 degrees out man you want them pants on you don't get nowhere you, uh, oh man sitting at home you're like oh it ain't that cold yeah you get out here right a while you get those pants like that he has uh camouflage for hunting i got mine i think they were for like snowmobile or something 
then this jacket, oh, is it nice? No air, uh, and it's not leather. Got a cappuccino and a munchie. It's ready to ride. We come out of there, and there's a uh, washer fluid right there outside and I we went past it and I told him I said that's what I need I need some of that for my bike and he's thinking and looking he said your bike I said yeah he said is it take it I said yeah you put it in there and it sprays it up on the windshield <laughs> he said you're kidding I said no it has a little sprayer it sprays it up on the windshield for you <laughs> and I started laughing I got him I told him, I said, I still got it. <laughs> oh my God, is that what he was so serious? He said what he was thinking about was, it takes a whole gallon to fill that thing. <laughs> oh, was that good? <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> oh my god, is that good? <laughs> put put windshield washer in the bike. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> that, was, that was so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> he said someday I'm going to get you someday I'm going to get you <laughs> one day we were out we were stopped like that talking for a while I hollered I told him I said hey I said your oil's running out oh my god he looked sick <laughs> he looked down and started laughing because <laughs> that's back was having all the trouble with his bike Oh my god, he said the first thing he thought is, how am I going to get it home? <laughs> Put one washer in my bike. <laughs> oh, oh my god, was that funny? Oh. <laughs> he said it's a wonder some of them bikes don't have them. I said they might. You get into some of them big cruisers. It's a wonder they don't have a little wood show for on there. I know you're usually looking over top of it. Have it on your helmet. <laughs> foot operated he just <laughs> you keep your foot <laughs> oh, when you're not using the shifter you can pump it and it'll <laughs> take your wiper back and forth on your helmet oh my god yeah that place was looking for is closed down I mean it's not closed down there's an auto parts there now so he said you want to go for a ride I said let's go I said I'll follow you I don't care This is a major intersection up here. Boy, there's a big sheets. Oh, that's where he wanted to go. <laughs> Maybe he's got to stop and get gas again. 